Behind the high borrowing costs as the Fed continues to hike rates is really being felt in the corporate bond market, right? We're watching it very closely because we are seeing corporate bonds being cut to junk at the fastest pace since 2020. And that is, of course, when the pandemic got started. In the first quarter of this year, a total of $11.4 billion of bonds were downgraded to high yield status. Now, that's about 60 percent of 2022's full year total. This is according to research from Barclays. So we are seeing this full year volume on pace to be the highest in almost more than two years. Um, that's when the pandemic started and we had the massive wave of downgrades, according to Barclays estimates. Now, uh, as I mentioned, that's really to do with borrowing costs rising across the board and corporations also seeing their bond ratings cut to junk and facing an extra boost in funding expenses as well. And it's, of course, you know, perhaps no surprise that we're watching for any further red flags when it comes to the corporate bond market. And here's one that we haven't spotted since 2007. It's being called a, quote, exhausted carry trade that could spark a correction. Uh, that technical tidal wave could be coming for what is the biggest portion of the $10 trillion market for corporate bonds. TD Security says that a bank's collective higher costs of borrowing and funding will really restrict appetite for high quality credit. And eventually that could lead to a spike in risk premiums. At the very heart of that issue are shrinking yields on investment grade bonds relative to effectively the, the federal funds rate, a proxy of course for funding costs and this carry spread. We're now sitting at levels that we've only seen twice before over the past 27 years and as I said the last time was back in 2007. So that really means that even if high quality corporate bonds might look uh, cheap based on market to market values at the moment, they've of course plummeted over the past year, that higher cost of funding means that uh, we could still see that big move forced higher in spreads.